Rich, you are gonna make a Mai Tai. That's correct. It is one of the kind of the pillars of tiki bartending. And, but despite the fact that it's a tiki drink, which are normally really complicated and super opulent with loads of crazy ingredients. Opulent, this good opulent, word. Opulent, yeah. This one's kind of simple. It's just got three base ingredients and then a little bit of a kicker. So it's got rum, lime, which is a nice kind of- Refreshing. Refreshing. And then it uses like a dry orange curacao as the sweetener, kicked with a little bit of almond syrup, orgiac. All right, so- Should we start making yeah, it? Yeah, man, do it, dude. Perfect. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze in our lime juice fresh, like this. You can just use your fingers at home if you want. We're making two of these drinks, so I'm gonna squeeze two whole limes into the bottom of this shaker here. We're gonna keep these little bits and pieces as well for garnish for later. How many is that? So why Four lime half. and why not a lemon? Lime and rum is a lovely combination together. Lime is a little bit more, it has a little bit more spice to it. It's right. got a bit more, a touch more acidity to it, which makes it means it balances with the sweetness of sugarcane based rum. So we're gonna balance that. It's basically about 50 milliliters of lime juice or the juice of two whole limes normally with okay. 50 milliliters of orange curacao is our nice sweet, uh, sweet and sour balance. Yep. Then the rums, right. Originally, this drink was created in the 1940s by, well, coined by a guy called Trader Vic. In fact, actually, that's where the name comes from. He, he created it in, in Hawaii, and a uh, Polynesian word for out of this world, the best, is Mai Tai or Raw. And it was said that when he served it to the first guest, they liked it so much that that's what they called it. Man, Mai I hear you felt really good there, like, wow, out of this world, yeah. Mai Tai, there you, you know go. I mean? So we have 50 milliliters of this old, this aged Cuban style rum. So this is gonna add a little bit of that maturity, yeah. those toffee, butterscotchy kind of notes. So it's gonna work really Oof. well with this almond syrup. And then we're gonna use a slightly younger rum, a gold rum still, it's a bit fresher. It's kind of got these hints of smoke and stuff to it. It doesn't, ooh, and there's no, there's no dasher bottle in there, there you go. <laughs> and it comes. So we've got 50 milliliters of each. So it's basically one part of everything. It's really simple. Okay. And then just on top of that, this is almond syrup, orgiat. Um, it's like a traditionally a French thing. It's basically blanched almonds, sweeteners, and all this kind of stuff. Nice. You can make your own, but the stuff you get in the supermarket um, is just as good. Tray facile. That's Tray facile. Very there easy. we go. Shaking onto the spoon. This is <laughs> always hot chick staring oh, at you, dude. You know I can't. He is taken. Sorry. He's got a four month old. He's a rad dad. So we're going to shake this really, really hard. That's really important for, for a lot of drinks is to get a lot of aeration, make it super cold. All right. So how much ice? Like you look as like much as you can fit in the shaker, basically. Okay. Oh God, really? Oh, like That's that. your shaker face? Yeah, I've been practicing, okay. I've been doing it a while. So, right, this is our drink. Now, while it's just sat there, it's not diluting, we're not putting ice in yet because we need to make the garnish for this drink. Oh. So we're just gonna cut an orange twist just like this. Very simple, you can use a wide peeler, potato peeler if you want. Uh, we've got some mint, excellent, and we've got these lime wedges that were spent from the juicing. There we go. Right. Okay. So we got the, the lime husk that we put earlier. It's kind of rough and a little bit robust, but it, it looks nice. It kind of fits the whole thing. Rough and robust. Rough and robust. We're going to just put this orange zest My just on top name. like this. So like a long zest of orange. We don't need to put it in the drink. Okay. So you're you just grabbing, you're getting that kind of orange oils to exactly. kind of like, you know, flavor at the top of the glass. Go. And then we're going to use just a couple of mint sprigs. Sounds Lively. like you know what you're doing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Okay. So a couple of mint sprigs and some straws. There you go. You know, we've got some pre-cut ones because these glasses are slightly short. I gotcha. There we go, just like that. Always okay, listen, I've got to, I've got to hand these off to some good people, so. Mm. Do you mind if I taste it first? You you should, we have to taste it, man. You're Cheers. the creator. Cheers, dude. Cheers, dude.